Let us learn how to create your very first AI voice agent. We are going to use Play AI's agent portal to do that. Very first step, go to play.ai and then after you go there, click create an agent. At this point, if you do not have an account, you will be asked to create an account. But if you already have an account, then you would be taken to this particular page, which is to create an agent. And as you can see here, there are a bunch of steps that we have to do before we can have an agent that can be deployed on phone or can be deployed on your website. The very first step is you have to go give the name for your agent, any name that you like. So I'm going to call my agent Jarvis and we have to give Jarvis a voice. So the voice that we are going to give that is very conversational. So I'm going to go ahead and then use William, use voice. And after you have done that, you can select the speed of the voice. You can also create a voice clone of yourself and then create an agent, but that is for a different video. Now you can select an avatar. I'm going to just go ahead with this. The next step is you can select a privacy option. Unlisted is imagine you want to create an interview agent and then send it to your candidates. You don't want anybody public to use, rather you want only the people who have the link to use. So you can make it unlisted send the agent to all of your candidates so that they can have a mock interview or even a real interview with an AI agent. I'm going to keep this private so that only I use it. After you have done this thing, the first step is done. So I'm going to go click next that will take us to the behavior section. This is very critical to define the characteristics or behaviors of your agent. We are going to define what is our agent supposed to do, what kind of behavior the agent should have. So your agent will say this message at the start of this conversation. So you can give anything. So you can say, Hey, I'm Jarvis. How can I help you today? That's it. That's all my agent is going to say whenever we prompt the agent. Next, you can give agent prompt. So this is very much like your system prompt in your LLM. So you have to give instructions about what this agent is supposed to do and what kind of behaviors it can have. So this is a very good place to set some guardrails about what kind of things that it has to do. I'm going to just simply say you are a helper agent. Once you have this, then you have to select the agent behavior. So do you want it to be for a professional use? Do you want it to be for a character use? Do you want it to be super chatty? In our case, we want it to be a professional agent. So I'm going to select a professional use case. So then, then next we are going to go into the knowledge space. Right now you can select the agent LLM. There are a bunch of models that are available starting from GPT-40, GPT-40 mini, Hermes 3 from news research, and you have got other models from Meta with actions as well. I'm going to just go ahead with GPT-40 mini, and then I can add custom knowledge to my agent. If there is something that the agent does not know, I can go add this there. This is like voice agent with RAG, retrieval augmented generation. Imagine you are building a customer support agent. One of the key things that the agent should know is your business policies and a lot of other information. So you can feed in that information into this agent through this custom knowledge. I'm going to keep it empty right now, but you can upload knowledge files in the form of PDF, FAQs, EPUB, .txt file, most of these formats and make the agent understand what is your business about. The next thing is you can also set a guardrail to say that this agent should only answer from your custom knowledge rather than this entire gamut of knowledge that it has been trained on. So I'm not going to enable this, but if you enable this, this will answer only from the knowledge base. The next thing you can set the time and all the information. Next, I'm going to click next. You can select the kind of actions that you want the agents to do. So you want to get a funny quote, uh, you can just say get a funny quote. So these are certain trigger words that you can set and then make the agent do those trigger words. Use a lot of different integrations that we have got. Google Calendar, Zapier, Make, but I'm going to just go ahead without any actions for now because I want to create a very simple agent. Next, you can deploy this agent to phone. So you can go add a phone number and then do it. You can see more information on this in this particular page. But if you want to just deploy it for web, you don't want to use phone, you can skip this section and go to the web section. Now at this point, we have a working agent that can do like Jarvis, talk to us, we can ask it question, it can do a bunch of things. You can copy this code, embed it on your website and you can preview the embed. So you can go mention your website and then preview it. For example, if I'm going to embed it on a website called google.com, then I can go mention google.com here after I've added this code in your head section, a very similar like how you would add Google analytics or any tag you can add it to your website and then the agent should be available on your website. But because I'm not going to deploy it on a website now, 
all I'm going to do is I'm going to just create the agent. So leave it here and click create an agent. So you can see the agent is ready. Jarvis is ready. So far we have spoken zero conversations and we have spoken zero minutes. I'm going to talk to the agent. Let's see what the agent can do for us. Hello, the microphone. Hey, I'm Jarvis. How can I help you today? Uh, I would like to know how can I become very happy in life? It sounds like you're looking for ways to be successful. A good start is setting clear goals and working hard towards them. Jarvis, I have another question. Can I ask you? Of course. What's your question? Are you happy? I don't have feelings, but I'm here to help you. What's on your mind? Um, I'm thinking about going out uh, to purchase a PlayStation. That sounds exciting. Are you looking for a specific model or any games to go with it? Um, I'm a little worried. Actually, I'll become very addicted to PlayStation. Uh, and also, I'm confused between PlayStation and Nintendo. Do you have any suggestions? It's smart to think about balance. If you're worried about addiction, maybe set time limits for play. As for choosing, it depends on the games you like. Do you prefer action games or family-friendly ones? Uh, I would prefer family-friendly ones, but I also want a huge list of game catalogs. If you want family-friendly games and a big catalog, the Nintendo Switch might be a great fit. Thanks, Jarvis, but can I ask you a different question now? Absolutely. What's your next question? What is the capital of United States? The capital of the United States is Washington, D.C. What is the D.C. in D.C.? The D.C. in Washington, D.C. stands for District of Columbia. Oh, that's interesting to know. Okay, Jarvis, thank you so much for your help. See you another day. You're welcome. Or have a great day. As you can see here, we have successfully created an agent. And it is truly a speech to speech agent. As you can see here, I could talk to the agent, the agent could answer back to me. I could also interrupt the agent. And like we saw, you can deploy this agent as a phone number. And also you can deploy this on a website and the potential is immense. You can create an interview agent. You can create a sales agent. You can create a real estate agent and a lot of other things. In fact, if we integrate this with actions, which we have not done here, so you can have custom actions, a Google calendar, a Zapier make. This is almost like the function calling that you do. The end potential is immense and I would like to dedicate more tutorials on creating agents with actions. But for now, I hope you enjoyed creating your very first AI based voice agent. Let me know how you felt it. See you in another tutorial.